Hello guys, and welcome to a new episode in the How to Make an RPG in Unity tutorial series. Now in the last episode, we worked on a saving system um, for our inventory. And in today's episode, we're going to be fixing a couple of bugs as well as changing our item pickup system from our radius system with triggers and colliders um, into a raycast system, which will, you know, hopefully make our experience better because as per of now um, in order for us to actually pick up an item we have to be in the radius um, and we'll move up, up that item and that becomes confusing when you have multiple items in your radius such as now um, and another thing that we would want to do is uh, why, why of why we would want um, a raycast system instead of a uh, radius system is because um, it's, sim it's simpler so we can instead of like having again instead of having like when you have two items in your radius it's easier to just like point your cursor at um wherever you want you know something to you know be picked up and you'll be able to pick it up um so yeah so that's pretty much what we will be working on today and also we will be adding a crosshair uh, so let's actually start with the crosshair first because i feel like it'll make it simpler for us to debug um so Actually, I just have a duplicate marker here, um, here for some reason. But what we can do is to make a crosshair, we can first we can just create a raw image. And now you can change this texture to be whatever you want. I'm just gonna make my crosshair, I'm just gonna keep it white. Um, and then you can use the scale tool to scale it down. And then move it to the center. And then rename this to crosshair, or whatever you'd like paste this in, I'm just going to drag this under so it's all organized, and I'm actually going to flip the rotation by, oops, not there, I believe it's X, by, no it's not X, Z, there we go, by 90 degrees, and there we go, now we have a crosshair, and in order to scale it down, you can just move it, change the scale to like 0 0.6 by 0.6, by 0.6, and there you go, there's your crosshair. So I'm just going to actually make this 0.2 by 0.2 by 0.2. Now I think that looks way better. So if I press play, I can actually just test out my crosshair. Um, so yeah, so your crosshair is not supposed to have any like significance. It's just like there to like help guide your cursor along. So that's pretty cool. So now we can actually get into coding our new system of picking up items. And how we're going to do that is first we're just going to do something called a recast. So we can actually go into our script, our player dash script. Um, and what we can do is we can go down and find void update, which is right here, and we can type a couple of things. So the first thing that we're going to need is a vector three. So we can um, create a new vector three, and we call this like uh, start position, and we're going to set this as transform dot position. So the position of our play, and then we're going to create a new vector three. We're going to call this direction. I'm going to set this to be equal to transform the forward, so the forward direction of our player. And then obviously we're going to initiate the raycast with raycast hit hit. And then we're just going to do if physics dot raycast, and then we're going to input the start position, the direction, and then alt hit. And then we can just type out um, print. It dot collider dot game object dot name. Whoops. That should be direction with a capital D. Cool. So now when we press play, um, what we will see, hopefully see, is wherever we point our cursor, we'll get the name of that item being printed out. So you can see we got fence, we got wooden wall, we got chest, empty trigger, all of these stuff, or, or all of the stuff. Um, that has a collider on it. Um, so you can see this is not being triggered because it doesn't have a collider. This is not being triggered. Uh, this stuff is not being triggered because it doesn't have a collider. But everything that does have a collider will be triggered. Now we don't want that because we obviously cannot pick up the ground. We obviously cannot pick up um, the fence. We cannot pick up triggers. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an if statement here. We're going to say if hit.collider.gameobject.tag is equal to items. 
and only if the tag is equal to items then we know that it is an item and that we can actually pick it up so I've already I'm pretty sure you guys already know how to create new tags if you guys don't know how to create new tags uh, you should know by now this far in the series uh, but basically I already created a tag and it's called items so basically you just want to go into your prefabs and set all of your items to be equal to that tag it's, um, so you can see here it's all items and everything here is all items and another thing that you're going to be wanting to do is you're going to want to delete the ground item script from the cube that holds the ground items from every one of your um, items so I'm just going to come here delete the cube I'm just going to repeat this process for every single one of my items there's our helmet delete that Browsers. And then over here we can delete that as well. And then over here we can also delete this. Okay, cool. Um, so now actually what we can do is we can go back into the ground item script. Um right here and we've pretty much actually just already have done everything um, because if we press play you can see here that if I go to my console whenever I have my cursor on some on an on an item object as long as it's an item it'll print out the name you can see it's printing out all of the names right now as well as right here helmet and it should print out potato, but I think the trigger might be a bit too small. We might have to make the potato trigger a bit bigger, um, as well as a small dagger. I'm pretty sure it's going to be really hard. Um, there we go, never mind. Oh, never mind. Why is the damage text clone? Interesting. For some reason, a damage text clone is an item, or is considered as an item. Um, but yeah here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this box collider just a bit bigger or a lot bigger actually I'm just gonna make this like um, one by by one um, obviously you don't have to make it one by one by one it's gonna be floating if you do make it one by one by one I'm just gonna make it one by one by one for the simplicity of this video so that you guys can actually see um, the, the small bag of ground item being, um, you know, affected by the collider, by the by, by our rate cap, which is happening right here. Also, just gonna make the potato trigger slightly wider. Again, here it's gonna be. Actually, it's already quite big. I'm just gonna make this four by four by six. Okay, it's big now. And also, I don't know why there's a food script down here. Um, don't think we'll need that. Um, but yeah, so now what we can do is we can go into the ground item scripts and let's just check it out. So we can see what's happening here um, when we do pick up an item and get all of this stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to just pretty much just copy all of this. So. Um, everything inside get key down key code e. I'm just gonna copy this and then we're going to go inside void update we're going to create a new if statement I'm going to say if, if input dot get key down key code e. so if we press the e key then we're going to run all of this and instead of data the hotbar we're just going to make it hotbar instead of data the hotbar it's going to be hotbar because there is no data we are already in the data scripts and this is where it gets tricky um, so you can see pick up item is actually so okay. we probably shouldn't have deleted the ground item but what we can do now is instead of having our um, instead of having our uh, you know ground data script be doing something um, what we can do is we can actually just delete all of this 
and then we can delete this. And then we can also delete the trigger text because we'll no longer need it. And it'll be equal to we'll set pickup item to be equal to the hit dot collider dot game object dot get component pickup item. And the reason we're doing this is because um no sorry not ground we're essentially using the grounding script as a way to store data on each individual item. And instead of data here, we'll just be hop our slots. And again, we'll just copy this. And then trigger text, we're gonna have to make a reference here for the trigger text. Um, so we can just say public text. Oh, that's for the stat text. Trigger text, and then we can just set that um, in the inspector. And over here, we can just say trigger. Yep, that's good. And now we can say here instead of that the hotbar, hotbar. We can delete this picked up. Data dot equip hotbar. Um, data. We don't have to destroy the parent, but we will have to destroy hit.collider.gameObject. And then we can just reload the hotbar. Cool. Um, so yeah. Uh, oh. So, I think my Unity crashed. Oh, yep, it did. Okay, so now that we got Unity back open, what we can do is we can... Also, we are going to have to do a couple of things. So, what we can do is we can just say, over here, um, when we do detect an item, we're going to have trigger text to be active. And then we're going to set the trigger text text to be equal to press E to pick up. And then we can input here the hit.collider.get component ground item. So, and then outside here, we can just say trigger text dot text set active dot game objects are set active false. Oops. False. Okay. False. There we go. And then, yeah, so now um, we're pretty much just using our ground item script as a way to store data. So, now what we can do is let's just go back into each sorry for making you guys delete it and re-adding this um but we can just go into each ground item script and we can just input the name so wooden sword pickup item is um or sorry the parent would be and actually we don't need the parent anymore um we can actually just delete this um yeah, no errors, so we don't need the parent anymore. So we can just delete that. All we need is name and a pickup item, which in our case would be the wooden sword. Consumables, we can go to the potato, add the ground item, and then potato. Pickup item will be potato. Boots will be ground item, and then we can just go get leather boots. Leather bots. I remember we spelled that wrong. That's really funny. Uh, ground item, and then uh, leather helmet. Helmet. There we go. Leather helm. Oh, not leather pants. Leather helm. And then chest plates. Item, and we can also just make this bigger. Oops. 10 by 10 by 15 by 10. And this can be leather chest plates. With obviously the leather chest plate um, item. And then finally the trousers. And then we'll be done. Leather 
we're cats. Okay, cool. So now, when we go back into Unity, and... Oh, that's right, we forgot to set the trigger text. My bad. So we're going to go down here. Trigger text will be equal to... Let's go into canvas. Trigger text will be equal to right here. There's a trigger text. And now when we press play, Okay, so I'm just gonna move a couple of items into our inventory so we can actually pick items up. Um, because for now, items will not actually pick up, and that's one of the bugs that we're gonna fix, if um, your hotbar is not clear. So we're going to actually pick up these helmets, this helmet, um, if it will let me. And apparently it will not let me. Um, so there we go, never mind. We did pick up the chest plate. Um, and we did pick that up. Um, so what is wrong? Let me see. Um, it's probably, okay, so the reason we probably can't see the text is because of this. Um, now what we can do is we can just say, create an else statement here, so else. Then we can, you know, have the trigger text that acted false. Actually, this will not work. Um, and the reason that this will not work is because um, we're always going to have a raycast most likely on something. So what we actually have to do is here we have to create an else statement and then set it as set the trigger text as false. Um, this way, if we're not you know pointing at an um, object, then we're going to have our thing disappear. So let me just pick up the trousers. So we just picked up the trousers. Let's pick up the chest plate the boots and for some reason the helmet does not want to be picked up um, but our inventory is already full but as you can see it is here in my inventory I can drop drop it that's right Q and I can pick it back up and it's all working perfectly um yeah so in the next episode I am going to also my crosshair display disappeared because I didn't save because my unity crashed um but we'll fix that next episode the next episode will most likely be fixing bugs. Um, there's a bug right now that you can see I, I can't pick up this potato. Um, oh shoot. Also my crosshair is not here so it's really hard to pick stuff up. Uh, I'm just going to drop this chest plate for an example. Um, so I'm also going to pick up this helmet. You know I'll just move some things into my hotbar. Don't let me. Apparently I can't move stuff into my hotbar now. Um, I guess that's another bug that we'll have to fix. Um, let me see in my... You can see, yeah, element 4, there is supposed to be nothing here, but... I mean, apparently, there is something here. Um, you, uh, I should be able to pick this helmet up perfectly fine. We're also going to have to switch Joby's uh, thing up to be uh, Raycast only. Um, okay, so yeah. I'll fix this error next time, but for now, you guys should know that the Raycast will work. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for today's episode. I'll see you guys next time, and have a good day.